Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are in Kim's Kitchen. We're doing something a little different today. And we welcome all of you. We ask you guys to like and share, like and share, if you will. Just do that on all of your platforms to let folks know that we are on. And we're going to have a good time. You can hear my microwave going off <laughs> because I was warming up some, a concoction. And I'll share that with you in just a moment. But welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Um, like and share on your platforms. We're going to cook um, a few little warm dishes because it is so, let's see, share to a page, because it is getting cooler outside. And so um, we just want to just share some different things. We want to say welcome and thank you guys for coming. Appreciate you being here. I'm going to put this on my page and I'm going to share it to a few others. So while we are sharing, um, just want you guys to let us know where you are chiming in from, where are you watching from? Um, I can hear some stuff brewing back here. It's, I mean, we've got the pumpkins out. We've got the fall decor kind of going on. And let's see, share to a page. And I'm just going to share it and kind of be obnoxious to some of my family and friends and ask them to come on and watch. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Share it to a group. Let's see. I guess I'm going to, oh, there's a lot of group folks on here. I know how you feel. Welcome. Thanks for chiming in. Hello to you. How are you? Where are you calling, calling in from? Where are you chiming in from? Let us know. We certainly appreciate it. Asking you to like and share. We welcome you to Kim's Kitchen. Thanks for being a part of the community. Um, we're just going to talk about, um, let's see, we are going to roast an acorn squash. We're going to talk about the two ways that you can roast that. We're also going to do a stew, um, but it's not a stew, I guess a I guess it's a stew, um, a seafood kind of stew with broth in it and seafood stuff in it. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry. Somebody was texting me, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Sorry. Can't get distracted on what's happening. Got to stay focused on you guys. I'll say a fall seafood soup. That's how I labeled it. So we just want to share that with you and let you guys know what is going on with that share. I'm going to share to a few more pages and then we're going to go ahead and get started. Share to a friend's timeline. If I had your name, I would share it to you. Welcome, everybody. We thank you for chiming in. Go ahead and like and share. We're going to um, just pick up and cook a few dishes that we might think that we think might be delicious to share with you guys um, and that you might want to try. It's not going to be very hard. We're not going to be on here very long. So um, while you guys are chiming in, let us know where you're, chi where you're calling, calling in. I keep saying that, calling in from, hello, Stacy. Thank you so much for chiming in. Let us know where you are calling in from or chiming in from. Please like and share, like and share. We want to um, share it with our community. I'm going to share it to a few more pages. And then we are going to go ahead and get started. Friends timeline. Who else can I share it with? Let's see. I'm going to share it with that person. They're probably going to be like, what are you sharing on my page? If you guys can also share it on a page, we certainly would appreciate it. Like and share, like and share. Because we want to get as many folks in here as we can. We appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for chiming in. And thank you for just being a part of what we are doing. Oh, my goodness. My names keep moving. Um, I know who I'm looking for. I think I just have to type it in. Uh, oh, two people. Oh, I saw another person. Don't you do that when you get ready to share it to somebody and then you, another name pops up and you're like, oh, I want to send it to them, too. OK, I want to send it to one more person, uh, to a friend's timeline. And there we go. All righty. Oh, no, wait, I got to do one more person. I just thought of somebody else. I'm sorry, y'all. Like and share, like and share. Welcome to the community. Welcome to Kim's Kitchen. We're going to cook a fall seafood soup. I'm so excited about that. We want to share it with you. Um, who did I say I was going to do? Oh, I know. Friends timeline and type in the name. There we go. Boom. I am ready. Like and thank you for the hearts. Thank you guys so much. Please like and share on your page. Let us know where you're chiming in from. And um, we appreciate it. OK, we are going to do. Oh, here's the first thing I wanted to share with you. I want to share with you all my little cup. I love this cup. It's like got a heart shape. The heart. It's upside down right here. It's got a heart shape and it is so clear. But what I'm putting in this cup is going to be good for you. Heart healthy and all that. I warmed it up in the microwave. But I am actually getting ready to drink some 
uh, ginger. I bought some ginger root, bought it in a bag. You can usually buy it single, like ginger root. Let me show you what it looks like, ginger root. It kind of, it looks like this, but I looked up on this bag, which is like pretty cool. And it comes like this. And then I just kind of shave what I want, put it in some hot water, ginger, and let it boil. And then I also use cinnamon sticks. You can buy this, buy this big old thing um, from your grocery store, cinnamon sticks. I use that. Put those two together in hot water. It smells delicious. It's kind of almost like it almost has like a fall smell because of the cinnamon. Well, I did that, and then um, it's supposed to be good for your immune system. So I put it in my beautiful new cup with the heart shape, although you can't see that. But we want to sip on that and make sure um, you drink this even through the winter months, um, the time that's getting cool. And I'll put down kind of like the health benefits of drinking ginger and cinnamon sticks. And so we want to welcome you. Please like and share, like and share and let us know where you um, are chiming in from. Also, I wanted to ask you guys to let me know what would you what you would like to see. What we're going to do tonight, we're going to do a fall seafood soup. Um, and it's and uh, I've already got some of it kind of steaming and um, warming up on the stove. So we're going to do that. We're also going to do a acorn squash. Um, and this is the little acorn squash. But we're going to talk about savory um, taste and also a sweet taste that you can put on that. And then we're going to do some cookies. We're going to warm the warm, the oven is already warming up. And I'm telling you, these little cookies are quick. They are easy. They are cheap and you can get them done that way. Also, <laughs> I thought about doing some um, quesadillas and I love to use the spinach and herb wraps and you can get those kind of from wherever and um, just put some shredded cheese in it. I like pepper jack cheese pepper jack cheese, and I also like shredded cheese. So we're going to do that and put that in the um, wrap, but we're going to go through that. One thing I wanted to show y'all is this vegan vanilla cookie chip ice cream. It says non-dairy frozen dessert, and I haven't tried it yet, but it's vegan vanilla. And so I am going to try it. I see you guys have some comments going there. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Ginger root. Very good. Hello, Kim. You're um, looking from Bartow, Georgia. We appreciate it so much. And hello, Eric. Thank you for always being so supportive. You and Stacy, please like and share and let us know where you are chiming in from. We definitely would love to have that. Um, Actually, I'm going to put some of these comments up here so you can see yourself. That's always fun to see yourself. Say good evening from Stacy, not just to me, but to all of you. There's another thing that I wanted to show you all. Hang on a second. I'm coming back. Look what I found. It's garlic and herb butter. Garlic and herb butter. Oh, my goodness. And it looks like, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like that. You can see the garlic and the, well, you can see the herbs in it. Garlic and herb butter. You can put that on really anything. And I'm so excited to try. Well, I've already tried it, but so excited to try it on something. Oh, someone saying, oh, good ginger root. Yeah. For those of you who are just chiming in, we certainly appreciate it. Thank you for that. Um, ginger root and cinnamon sticks. Put it in hot water. Let it boil. It's a great way to boost your immune system. That's what I've been told. I haven't researched it. I'm just passing along information. And so um, I have it in my beautiful new clear cup. And I will drink it, drink it really on an empty stomach in the morning or drink it right before you go to bed to kind of help you. And um, just want to encourage you to do that, especially as the time gets colder and the days get longer. A hello, as I said before, from to Kim in Bartow, Georgia. Thank you for saying hello. We appreciate that. And we're asking you guys to like and share, just share, 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 share. And good evening from Eric. OK, we're going to start with the stew. Let's see. This is going to be a seafood fall, fall seafood soup. And it's really, this is going to be kind of like semi homemade. This is not going to be homemade at all. It's going to be store bought stuff that I put together and seasoned and it's going to taste good. Okay. This is how I started out. And this is what I have in this big old pot already. Let me find my spoon. know where my spoon is my ladle as they call it it might be in the spoon but anywho okay this is how it started out i went and got some seafood mix 
this I bought it from the store I didn't use the whole bag I just used half of it and I dumped it in the um, uh, let me back up on the on the stove I have my pot in the pot I initially started out with broth but I use vegetable broth um, but I just pulled this out so that you guys could see this is chicken broth you can use whatever you want so I did that put that in the pan in the pot then I got my seafood mix um, and this in it it has calamari it has shrimp it has mussels it has octopus I did see that it also has imitation crab meat all of that in here so I poured just some of it in there and then I seasoned it seasoned it a little bit with a um, little salt a little pepper and let's see what else did I season it with um, really that was it oh this 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 I'm so glad I looked in there this is what I wanted to show y'all I went and got this from like a, an Asian grocery store and it is fish sauce and I guess you can kind of get it anywhere Feel like my head is getting chopped off you can get it anywhere but anyway i use this fish sauce and it has such a good well it has a fishy flavor but it has such it gives it such a good taste though sorry let me taste this i'm gonna tell you it tastes it is it's salty it's it's salty and it's kind of oily but um it gives it a good flavor especially when you put it in the um the water hey katrina ask you guys to like and share like and share please but any fish sauce anyway so if you use fish sauce don't use a lot of salt because this is salty but you put this in the water and you use like some vegetable broth and then you put this in the water um and then let's see come down to barto to all in the family country kitchen where a fall oh i'm gonna put your put this up here okay Kim is saying you're cooking some good stuff, but if you guys are in Bartow, Georgia, come on down to All in the Family Country Kitchen, where they're a family-owned small restaurant, but it sounds like they got some good stuff going on there. Thank you, Kim, for chiming in. We certainly appreciate it. We ask you to like and share this with your friends, but okay, that um, the fish sauce, it seasoned it very well, so you put this in. Be careful about how much salt you put in because we have to watch our sodium. I hear you. I see you laughing, Katrina. I hear you, too. I pulled this out too because I wanted to show y'all. I had this in the um, freezer, but I haven't tried it. It is Country Crocs plant butter with olive oil. I don't know if you tried it before, but if you have, put it in the comments and let us know how it tastes. Plant butter, but it's with olive oil. And we're just trying to give you some healthy options and some semi-healthy options and some semi-home cooking. The other thing that I'm excited to find and I really, really like, and I think it tastes good, it's garlic and herb butter. It's already got the herbs in it. It's garlic and herb. And I'll show you what it looks like for those of you who didn't see. That is so cool. I love it. I love it. Have you guys ever tried garlic and herb butter? Put it in the chat. I mean, already made and you guys didn't have to make it. Or have you ever tried plant butter, any kind of plant butter? This one has olive oil in it. If you have, put it in the chat. We want to know how it tastes. Also, for those of you who are coming in, you want to make sure you keep your immune system going up and um, bustering and blustering or however you want to say it. Cinnamon and ginger. Make sure you um, are taking your vitamins and, you know, getting enough rest, too. You can't. You can't get enough rest because that helps your immune system stay strong. And Katrina's chiming in. Love that butter. Oh, I'm glad you tried it. Now, this I do want to say with the cinnamon and the ginger, you do not have to put sugar in it, um, but you can. And the reason I tell you that you don't have to. One is because you want to make sure that you are cutting down on your sugar intake. So this is a good way to drink something warm, drink something healthy, and ginger is always good for you. Okay, also in my pot with my little seafood stuff, I really wish y'all could see this. Okay, I also put some um, broccoli in here and some spinach. Um, that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing, but... Let me see if I can put this broth in something so you can see it just a little bit. I do have a small glass bowl. I know where I can put it in. I'm coming, coming, coming. This is Kim's community. Whatever's happening in your community is happening here, except for the gunshots. 
and, and if it's gunshots, then we'll just talk about it. But if it's happening in your community, we'll do it. We're, it's happening here and or we'll talk about it. How about that? So this is our fall seafood soup. And I put, told you I put broccoli in it. I put spinach in it. And it's got the little crab meat. I just got a little bag. And the thing is smoking, though. But the flavor is so good. I'm trying to find a spoon. Okay, anyway, I'll get it in a second. Also, corn on the cob. I buy these little corny on the cobs. You can buy them in the bag. I cook them separately. And then when it's time to eat, I put it all together in one bowl. But what I did um, earlier was the corn is gone now. So this is this one is frozen, but I'm just using this as an, as an example. The corn, I'll shave it off and then put the corn kernels inside my soup, which is kind of yummy, yummy. Um, and so that's that. That is that. And I'll put this recipe and I'm, I kind of made up this recipe. So I'll put the recipe in the chat so you guys can have it. But I want to pull my spoon out so I can taste this. And I can even see like the octopus in here. You can see like the little tentacles. I know that's that's gross, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is so good. I've got I've got um, what do you call this? Broccoli. I've got spinach and oh, and potatoes. That was the other thing. I chopped up some potatoes, just two, two small potatoes. I chopped them up and I boiled them in a separate pot. And then at, when everything was done cooking, I mixed everything together. And it does have such a good flavor. Mm -mm -mm. That is so, so good. All right. This acorn squash. I do not know how to cook this. I do not even know what I'm doing. I wanted to cut this before I came on live because I didn't want y'all to see me struggling because the struggle is real because this outer shell is really hard. So if y'all know how to cut this, put me, give me some, um, some advice right here. I got a knife. I got a couple of knives, but let me see. And if I can't cut it, then we won't be cooking it tonight. It'll just be a nice prop. Okay. <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try two more knives. One more. All right, I'm going to try two more knives. Let me sharpen. It's like, ooh, fingers on a chalkboard. Yeah! I thought the rigid, the rigid knife would cut it, but it won't. But let me see. Ooh, this isn't working either. I feel like I need an electric saw or something. Somebody said, put your back into it. <laughs> I'm trying to put my back into it. <laughs> I don't want to break the knife and I don't want this to be a mishap. Okay, this is the third knife I'm trying. And maybe my knives aren't sharp enough. I don't know. But this thing is hard. Uh-oh. It's going through. Oh, I think I cut myself, y'all. It's stuck on the knife. I did cut myself. Okay. Maybe an electric knife. I know. How do y'all cook it at the restaurant, Kim? Or do y'all even cook it? It's stuck in here now. Let me see. <laughs> oh, that's how I can cut it. I had to slam it. Okay. I, broke, I cut it. I cut it. Cut it. Had to slam it. Sorry about that. Again, this is like real life. This is not television. So, okay. Let me, first of all, the seeds, the seeds. Dang, y'all, I cut myself. All right, I need a paper towel. Oh, I'm not going to get blood on the stuff. I promise you I won't. But I don't think I have any Band-Aids down here. All righty, so... <laughs> let me drink <laughs> let me drink something <laughs> ah, oh, so said I haven't we haven't cooked that okay somebody said just leave it and I'm too far away to take you to the hospital I know isn't this just like ridiculous okay anyway this thing has seeds so you got to take the seeds out what am I doing with the seeds I put it here take the seeds out and I saw two recipes online 
for you to cook. Now, when you pull the seeds out, you can see like the the lot the, the strings, not the limey, slimy, the string. <laughs> <laughs> I see your comments, Katrina. I see your comments. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh my goodness, that is too funny. Let's see. This is going to be the acorn squash. Let's change the title at the bottom. And we asked you guys to go ahead and like and share. I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay. Thank you. My family is asking, am I okay? Yes, I'm okay. I am bleeding though. You can see that. I, I just kind of sharpen the knife and nick myself with the knife, but it'll be okay. I'm good. The show must go on. I have to do it for the people. I have to keep going for the people. <laughs> All right. We're doing our acorn squash. All right. Where's my phone? Okay. I took a picture of the recipe. We're going to do both of them really quick. I should have pulled everything out, but again, welcome to the community where nothing is scheduled or planned. We just do stuff as it comes to mind. Um, and part and some of these recipes I'm just making up, y'all. What's in that ginger and cinnamon? Oh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> kind of got me topsy and turvy. No, it's just water, ginger, and cinnamon. That's it. I promise you. Um, I took a picture. Where's the picture? The recipe. Here we go. Oof. This is blurry. Okay. The recipe calls for, if you want to make it savory, you have to use olive oil, sprinkle paprika, or curry powder. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, Jesus. Olive oil, paprika. I should have found these ingredients before I started talking to y'all. I don't even know if I have any olive oil. Paprika. Okay, we're just gonna do the sweet one. How about that? Because I can't find the paprika stuff. Nutmeg. All right, let's do this. And actually, we'll put a little honey on it. Okay, pretend like I did the savory one. Like and share, like and share. We're gonna do the sweet one because I don't know where the paprika is and I don't feel like looking for it. Um, let's see. First, we're going to do ground cinnamon and we are doing the acorn squash. We're gonna do the sweet version. We're going to sprinkle some of that cinnamon. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> sprinkle some of that cinnamon on there. All right. And then we're also going to do, oh, that's red pepper. Wrong one. We're also going to do nutmeg. Have you guys done acorn squash? How do you do yours? Acorn squash. Okay, nutmeg. I'm also going to put some honey on it and just drizzle it because I think it will taste good. Wait. And you got to turn your honey thing upside down so you don't have to do this, but turn it upside down so that you can, um, it'll be at the top. All right. Then you put the honey on it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right. And then butter. Butter always makes things taste really good. I'm bleeding, y'all. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. It's not super bad, but it's bleeding. All right. And then you got to put the butter on it. You use one of these super sharp knives to put the butter on. <coughs> the cinnamon got in my throat. <coughs> I see you, Brandon. Please send help. All right. The dust from the cinnamon. Okay, I'm putting the butter chunks on. Now, has anybody ever made an acorn squash? Made it savory and sweet? Yes, no? Savory or sweet? Um, putting that in there. I'm putting a lot of butter on this. The only thing, is, I'll have to put up pictures after everything is done to let y'all know what it looked like. But that's what it looks like with the butter on it. It's got butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, and honey drizzled on it. So I'm going to put this in the oven. And we're just going to let that cook. And I think the last time I tried to do this, the last time I did that, um, we, it took like almost an hour for this thing to cook. So here's the other half that would have been savory, but I couldn't find the other stuff. So I'll put down a little savory recipe for you down in the comments um, afterwards, and I'll put down the recipe for the sweet for that. Okay. What else are we making tonight? I don't got all off course because I'm cut myself and 
but it's all right. I'm still, if I get woozy and tip over, somebody call 911, send help. All righty. We did the seafood soup, which was really good. I'll put that recipe in there. And then, okay, cookies. The kids are going to like this. Oh, I said I was going to do a quesadilla too, but let me see what time it is. Oh, I guess I have time. All right. Let me do the quesadilla first. Let me do that first. And then I'll do the cookies last. All right. Quesadilla. I need butter. Butter. And I also need butter for the cookies too. So make sure you pull out like, let me tell you the ingredients. This little butter pack, I mean, this little cookie thing, I, I, I like the sugar cookies that come in a package like this. And they also have chocolate chip. But this is so easy. All it is is a half a stick of butter and one tablespoon of water. I'm telling you, the kids will love it. You will be glad to have a sweet snack that is really, really quick. Um, so you'll enjoy that. Okay, we're going to do the, where's my thing at? We're going to do the quesadillas. This is going to be easy, easy, peasy. <clears throat> and I got butter. If y'all could really see what I'm working with, which I'm glad you can't, because this is a crying shame. It's a, it's a hot mess over here, y'all, a hot mess. Tell me, since you guys are watching, what other... Um, shows would you like to see? What other topics? What other um, cooking items? Just anything you'd like to see. Let me know. Put that in the chat. Would love to accommodate you. So, okay. I love these wraps. This is spinach and herb. Um, spinach supposed to be healthy. Herb supposed to be healthy. Thank you guys for the thumbs up and the hearts. I really appreciate it. Now, these are the big ones. Um, these are, it doesn't say what size. So anyway, these are the big ones, bigger than my face, big ones. So I like to use these. And what I would do is I like pepper jack cheese. So I hadn't even turned, let me turn this up, the thing on. Make sure you get a skillet, turn the skillet on, put butter in your skillet. So that could be going on, but you got to make sure you remember that it's on because you don't want burnt butter cooking your stuff. So put butter in your skillet, really easy. I wish I had an overhead camera um, so you could see what is happening. But any who, any who, <clears throat> what I am going to do, because this is so big, is I'm going to cut it in half and it's going to make it easier. Any of you guys ever tried these wraps, the spinach and herb wraps? Anybody ever tried spinach and herb? Let me know. Put that in the chat. Spinach and herb. Have you tried it or you haven't tried it? Why does my tissue keep going? This is like crazy. All righty, I'm going to cut this in, well, I'm going to fold it in half, and then I'm going to cut it in half because it is so long. Don't cut yourself. I won't. I won't. I promise. <laughs> now, that knife cut that really well. Now, I've got two halves, and I'm going to make this a quesadilla, K-A-A-S-A-D-A. All right, I'm moving the butter around just so the butter can um, go to the bottom of the pan. Yes, they are good. Yeah, they are good. And it makes me feel like I'm being healthy, too, when I eat them. I, I was going to make a, a grilled cheese sandwich. I haven't had one of those in so long. Um, but then I was like, you know what? I got these wraps. Let me do the quesadilla. All right. Pepper jack cheese. If you haven't seen it before, you probably have. It really is good. So I'm going to put that in there. Maybe I'll just I'll split it like and put it in here. Put it on each side like that. One piece of cheese on one side, one piece of cheese on the other. I'm going to make two quesadillas. And then I like the taco style shredded cheese. Um, are the wraps low carb? That's a good question. Let me look for you. Um, let me see. Let me look for you. All right. Let me put this shredded cheese. I got to put the shredded cheese on one side though, because it'll be a hot mess trying to put it on both sides and close it. All right. Now, this thing is closed like this. All right. I'm trying to hold it to the side so y'all can see some of the cheese is falling out. Ooh, everything's falling out. Let me turn it to the good side. This is the TV side. All right. This is how it looks. Even though the shredded cheese fall out, I'm going to put it in the pan. I remembered you. Um, I'm going to tell you this is low carb. Wait one second. 
okay, the wraps are 200 calories, two grams saturated fat, 36 milligrams of sodium and one gram of sugar. No high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors. I guess that's not answering your question or is it? I don't know. Low carb, um, no cholesterol. It's got 16% sodium and that's all I can see. No protein, no protein value. That's just all it is. I don't know. I hope that answered your question. I don't, I don't know how to tell if it's, how do you know if it's a low carb? Tell me that. And then maybe I'll, I can look for it. Okay. This is cooking. And let me find my little spatula. You got to make sure when you turn these things over that you are um, turning them over without losing all the cheese in the center. And you got to smush it a little bit because I put a bunch of cheese in there. And for those of you who are just coming on, remember to get your ginger and your cinnamon drinks. Mix it with water. Let it boil. It makes the house smell amazing. It makes it smell like fall, but it's also good for your immune system. So I've been told I will look it up and find out, but I'm just passing on information. Um, but it feels and feels like a healthy drink. because I know ginger is really good for you um, and cinnamon, too. Mm hmm. And you don't put any sugar in it. And I feel like the ginger kind of gives it a little like sugary taste. But I guess if you want to put sugar in it, let me show you what kind of sugar I got. I got regular sugar, but also I have some turbanino sugar. I don't know what this is now that I'm showing it to you. It's almost like cane sugar. It's the finest Caribbean sugar with natural notes of molasses, but... It's only 15 calories and really that's it. Everything else is zero. So I felt like it was healthy. So I'm just passing that on. I don't know. I felt like it was half healthy because all of the nutrition facts are zero. So <laughs> I don't know if that's any indication. All right. Oh, I'm smelling this. Okay. This is melting. Ooh. It's got a little brown on it, but... That'll be okay. You can like scrape it off. How many of you like scrape the brown off of stuff that you got? Your bread and all that stuff. Where are my plates? Plates in the dishwasher. All right. Ooh, this cheese is melting out. All right. I flipped it over on the pretty side so y'all could see it. It's, ooh, I almost dropped it. Television side. That's my little quesadilla. Quesa. In case you want to see ya, the quesadilla, that's what it is right there. The oven is on. Yes, I can see it. I can hear it. But I forgot. I put that acorn thingy in there. All right. Make sure you guys like and share. Like and share. Okay. I'm going to cut this in half just so you can see like all of the cheese. And oh, forgot to put, I forgot to put spinach in here. I like to, I had one at a restaurant that had different cheeses in it and spinach. Oh my goodness, it was so good. And sometimes I put onions in it, but that's how little it is. That's how small it is. Yeah, it does. Thank you, Jerome. Appreciate that. I got to put this up. We got to mark this saying it looks delicious. Thank you. Yeah, I think it is going to be, and the cheese is just coming out of the side. And that was like really, really quick and easy. So rather than making like a grilled cheese sandwich, you can do it and... Again, I just use these little spinach and herb wraps. I just got them from the grocery store and just put different kinds of cheese in there. Um, oh, you know what I forgot to put on there? My garlic and herb butter. Oh, well. Anywho, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Jerome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it so much. Okay. Let me taste the piece. I'm going to taste the piece. Mm. Yeah, that's good. You guys talk amongst each other. Thank you so much. It is good, 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 good. Good to the last drop. Okay, the last thing that I'm going to do is make these cookies. The oven is already going. These cookies are so quick and fast. And you're going to love these. Probably shouldn't be eating sweets, but if you just want something that's really good and just a little quick sweet, you know, you can do that. All right. Open the packet. And again, like I said, these come, I've seen them in sugar cookies and also chocolate chip. 
Just take your cookie mix, dump it in the bowl. And all you need is a half a stick of butter, which is really like one fourth cup of butter, half a stick of butter, margarine or spread. Make sure it's softened and it's not melted. Although if you get this package, all of the directions will be on there, but I'm just telling y'all. And then you take a tablespoon of water and that is it. The cookies are done. They're ready to go into the oven. So I'm gonna get this butter. And get a half as, and I just got regular butter. I don't have the herbs and the herbs and what was the other one? Herbs and something. I don't, I'm not using that in the cookies. And then a teaspoon of water. I don't know, for all of you bakers out there, is the water supposed to be cold when you put it in there? Does it make a difference? Room temperature? And this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like it's enough water or butter to do anything, but. I've done this before, made these before, and they have came, they came out so delicious. So you just have to stir it up and you gotta use that old muscle power. And this butter is not cooperating because I guess I didn't let it sit out long enough, but we're stirring, 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 stirring. All right, guys, what have you liked so far tonight? Um, the seafood soup, I'm gonna put up the banners. Let me know in the comments what you have liked um, or what you've enjoyed or what you can't wait to taste. The fall seafood soup. We did that um, where we did the seafood, the imitation seafood stuff. For those of you who are just getting on, we did that in there. We used some broth. You could use vegetables, broth, or whatever you want to use. Um, I don't know if there's seafood broth. Um, we cooked our small corn on the cob. We cooked that in a separate bowl so that we could put it all together. And like I said, I shredded the corn, or I shredded, like I took the corn off of the cob and put it in there. That was after everything was done. I also put spinach and broccoli in my soup. And I did that afterwards um, just to make it a little heartier. And what else? Oh, this was the kicker, the fish sauce. And it, this fish sauce is pretty salty. And you probably can get it from like any grocery store, but I happened to go into a um, Korean um, grocery store and they had it in there. And so I wanted to try it, but this flavors so well. So if you use the broth, <clears throat> that has a little sodium in it. So you wanna be careful with that, but this for sure is salty. So if it gets too salty, there's either you can put more water in it, just plain water, or a trick that I saw online, and actually I've tried it, is cut up a potato and put the potato in whatever is too salty and it'll take some of the salt out. Um, and you can do that. So you might wanna try that. And then, what else am I thinking? That was it. Oh, and I did, I, I cooked some potatoes on the side also to make sure um, cause I wanted it to be kind of hearty with all of the seafood stuff in it. And let me tell you what's in the seafood. I have calamari, shrimp, mussels, octopus, and it says imitation crab meat in there, but everything was just really good. Okay. I'm stirred these cookie things up, but I put my squash on my cookie pan. Okay. I got another cookie pan. All right. Let me see. Somebody's saying something. Let me go back to the other page. Good tip. Okay. And then somebody is saying, try low sodium, sodium broth. Exactly. Good point. Good point. Thank you so, so much. That would be awesome. Okay. Uh-oh. I need to put up a help wanted sign so somebody can control this stuff while I'm doing this. Okay. Anyway, I got to get a different pan. And this is what I'm gonna put the cookies on, but this is kind of how it looks. It's kind of like brittle broke up or whatever you want to call it, like brittle broke up, I don't know. Brittle broke up, but it'll be good in your tummy wummy. So I'd have to make this into like cookie shape. I wanna just throw all this on here, just make one big cookie, which is what I might do. Okay. The butter, if the butter was moist enough, it would make everything kind of stick together, you know, but, oh, okay. I'm making the cookies, but then I also did, and I don't have a little banner for that. I did the quesadilla and I put like three or four different cheeses in here. Cause my little shredded cheese had a bunch of different cheeses in it. 
It had cheddar. This has cheddar and osterago cheese. I don't know what it is. All right. And then pepper jack cheese. And I put that in there and I cooked it and I showed y'all. Oh, this is the ugly side. That's the pretty TV side. Showed y'all the quesadillas. Boom. All right. Now we're going to put these cookies in the oven and we still have our squash and we did sweet, sweet squash because I could not find my savory stuff, the acorn squash. And let me tell you what's in that in case you are writing it down. Like and share, like and share. Okay, pap olive oil, paprika, or curry powder. That makes a savory squash. And then add your salt and pepper. And then for the sweet sauce, we put butter. Oh, I didn't use brown sugar. Ugh. We put butter, cinnamon, and nutmeg on it. That was for the sweet one. So we'll see what that takes. And it's like it takes like 10 hours to cook. At least it does to me. So anyway, I'm doing these cookies, putting these cookies in the oven. I'm actually going to make one big gigantic cookie, y'all. I'm pouring it all over here. I feel like making, putting the cookies, making the cookies into a little cookie thing. So this is my cookie stuff. And like I said, if the butter was soft enough, the butter should have made it um, kind of come together so that you could put the cookies together and make the small little balls or whatever. So this is going to be my cookie tonight. And I'll take a picture and let y'all see how it turns out. But these are chocolate chip cookies and these are real easy. It just took butter and a tablespoon of water and you can buy them prepackaged. Okay, this is how it looks going in. And I will take a picture of it when it comes out. And I think that is it. I'm putting this in the oven now. Okay, I think that is everything. I did share with y'all the vanilla cookie chip ice cream. It's made with oat milk and it says it's vegan. I haven't tried it, but looking forward to it. Let me take this down so you can see. Looking forward to it. I haven't tried it, so um, I'm looking forward to doing that. Also, I shared with you guys this country crop plant butter. Now, I haven't tried this and this has olive oil in it. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever tried this, but if you have, let us know how it tastes. Um, I put mine in the freezer. When I saw it, I thought, ooh, this looks so good. And it says it's good for sauteing and stir fries. So I'm going to have to try it and maybe we'll come back again and share that. And I think that is it, y'all. Do you have any questions, um, any comments? I would love to know if there are some things that you would like for us to talk to. Because over here in the community, in Kim's community, we talk about, let me say it like this, whatever happens in your community happens in this community. Either we do it or we talk about it. So all the bad stuff we don't do, but the good stuff we'll talk about. You know, anyway, we'll talk about good and bad stuff. But if there's something you'd like for us to do, address or try, please let us know um, by putting it. Even if after we go off, just put it in the comments. Um, you can still like and share. People can um, look at this even after we go off. Remember to keep your immune system up. Oh, and there's another thing that I do. I didn't do it in this one. Lemon and water. Now. I boil the water. I actually put the water to put the water in the microwave in a cup for like two minutes, make it really hot and then cut up the lemons and put it in there, squeeze it in there. Let me back up. I put the lemons in before I warm it up. I really do. I know it sounds like I'm making this up, but I'm not. <laughs> um, put the lemons in, in the water, put it in the microwave for two minutes and drink it. And I'm telling you, I told y'all this before, it keeps your flow really good. But there are some really good properties and benefits from lemons. I think I'm going to do a book on the healthy, the healthiness of food, of eating real good natural food. But anyway, this is ginger. For those of you who are just coming on, I found some ginger root. And if you, I got this little bag. It's the first time I've seen it like this, but you can buy the roots. I usually buy the roots. Like you would see them like this and you just grab them and they charge you for whatever. So the root, ginger roots and cinnamon sticks. You put those in just a cup of water and you can either boil it on your stove and it makes your house smell so good. Or you can put it in the microwave and you drink that. And this is supposed to be really good for your immune system. Um, so... Uh, again, not a doctor, don't know, just heard somebody say that. So I'm just passing it on and I've been drinking it and have been good. So whatever you have to do to stay healthy, especially during, listen, we are still in a pandemic. So be careful, keep your immune system up. Um, make sure you're getting enough rest because it helps your body fight um, those things. Eat well, 
as much as you can and get exercise and drink a lot of water. Thanks, Katrina, saying that everything was good. We appreciate that. And speaking of water, let me tell you this. Let me show you this. This is the last thing I'll show you. Every now and then, I'll just go and buy water bottles just because it kind of psychs me like, oh, I got a new cute little bottle. I'm going to drink me some water. So I bought this. This is 64 ounces. And the first day I got it, I filled it up with water and I put cut up some lemon and put it in there, just kind of shook it up. And I drunk, I drunk the whole thing. OK, this has taken me a day and I put this in yesterday evening. And so I'm just finishing this up. So it, the longer um, the cuteness of the bottle wears off, the harder it is to drink the water. But whatever you have to do to drink water, just do it. That's my point. And so when I um, feel like I'm dragging along, I'll go buy me another cute little bottle so I can drink some water. But what, again, psych yourself. Whatever you got to do, just do it. Um, I've heard that it's good to drink half your body weight. Now, I'm not saying that this is half my body weight, but it is a good start to drink 64 ounces of water. So whatever you have to do, like I said, go ahead and do it. And I'll say this last thing and then I'll let you guys go. Um, if you drink lemon in water, whether it's cold or hot lemon in water, make sure after you're done, um, I've read this, after you're done within that hour that you drink plain water because of the acid in lemons, you drink plain water, you wash your uh, mouth out, and then you brush your teeth and rinse it out with, um, what do you call it, mouthwash. So if you drink anything with lemon in it, because of the acid, you want to make sure that it doesn't stay on your teeth. So after you drink it, make sure you drink a glass of plain water, and you also go and brush your teeth and also um, swish your mouth with um, mouthwash. Okay. That's it. That's all I got, y'all. I stopped bleeding, just in case anybody cared. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I know that y'all cared. All right. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you. Before everybody goes, please like this broadcast and share it and subscribe, depending on whatever platform you're watching on. And we appreciate you guys so much. <laughs> I know you care. <laughs> As you said, we care. I know you do. I appreciate it. And I am fine. Thank you, Lord. Right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys have been so awesome. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Get you some warm soup. And oh, you know what? Didn't I'm, I just want to ask my family real quick. Didn't grandmother do something with like pumpkin seeds or acorn squash? It seems like I remember eating these seeds when I was a kid. I can't remember. But anyway, if y'all remember, put it in the chat. There's something she did with seeds. All right. Good night, everybody. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. Appreciate y'all coming to the community. Talk to you later. Be safe in those streets, in those com Kim's community streets. Be safe out there. <laughs> I'll find out, Katrina. Oh, something is burning. All right. I got to go, y'all. Bye. I can smell it.